MLB The Show 19 is here and there are a number of new features that come along with the annual PlayStation exclusive baseball title. In addition, there are a few fan desired features still missing from the only AAA baseball game on the market. We've combed through all the information available and went through the game ourselves to put together a list of the 10 things you need to know about MLB The Show 19 before you make your purchase decision. The first thing you need to know about is that there's a new mode in town. For the first time since the debut of Diamond Dynasty and MLB 12 The Show, MLB The Show 19 will introduce a brand new game mode for players to enjoy. Yeah, there was retro mode back in MLB The Show 17, but that was just a basic exhibition mode. This year, fans can partake in the new March to October mode that puts a new twist on the classic season mode that fans have come to expect with sports games. Rather than play or sim every game in full, Players instead play the biggest moments during the year. If you're in a pennant race down the stretch, you may have to take a big at bat to pull off a comeback win against the division rival. In addition to just playing the moments, your performance will have an impact on the rest of your year. The outcome of the moments you play will have an effect on the simulation results within March to October. The better you do, the better you'll see the rest of your team perform when you aren't playing. Next up are the 30 new legends making their way to the series. As with every new installment of MLB The Show, there are bound to be brand new legends to play as, and MLB The Show 19 is no different. This year's game will feature 30 new legends including Hall of Famers like Cy Young, Ricky Henderson, Yvonne Rodriguez, and Willie Mays. No, I'm not talking about Willie Mays Hayes, though that would be a great get. This is the actual Willie Mays. There's also past stars like Andrew Jones and Rob Dibble among others. Unfortunately, those still waiting to see the likes of Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, and Randy Johnson to be added will have to wait for at least another year. The next thing you need to know is that in-season contract extensions are finally a thing in franchise mode. It's a feature that one would have expected to be in MLB The Show, but was somehow omitted for years, and that's the ability to sign in-season contracts. With MLB The Show 19, that all changes as the game's franchise mode finally features the ability to sign players both young and old to contracts before the end of the season. It may seem like a small addition to some, but it's a big one for those who want a true sim experience in their franchise. Next up on the need to know list is that there's a new member of the MLB The Show broadcast team. For the first time in the franchise's history, MLB The Show has a female member of the in-game broadcast team. Heidi Watney joins MLB The Show 19 as the new sideline reporter for the game, giving fans pre-game reports as well as in-game updates that go a long way to making MLB The Show an even more realistic broadcast experience than it already is. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. On top of that, Watney's appearance in this year's title will also be prominent within the new March to October mode, as she'll help players with their story during the year. Up next, missions have come to Road to the Show. To add another twist to the extremely popular single-player mode, Road to the Show now features missions for players. While not the most intricate feature to ever be added to the mode, the missions act as in-game challenges to give more to play for with each game. One scenario could see you be tasked with knocking in the game-tying run with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Pass the mission and you'll be rewarded with more XP. Fail, and you'll see your earned XP drop. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing about Road to the Show that I almost forgot. There's no more attribute caps for players. The archetypes in the mode have been reworked, and the choices you make with your player, along with the archetype you pick, determine how quickly you can move up in certain attributes. It's a nice new touch to allow players to truly build the MLB superstar they really want. Next up is a pretty disappointing thing not included in this year's game, and that's that there's no expansion or relocation in Franchise Mode. Now unlike Franchise Modes from other major sports titles, MLB The Show 19 is the only one of the big four, and I mean NBA, MLB, NHL, and NFL, to not have relocation and or expansion of any sort in their franchise. Players love to put their own spin on their experience when playing inside Franchise, and adding the ability to bring back the Montreal Expos, or even move a team to a city like Portland or San Antonio, would go a long way towards adding a new way to enjoy the game. 
Next up is the fact that Create a Team remains a Diamond Dynasty exclusive. One of the Diamond Dynasty staples that many have hoped to see make its way to other modes in the game is the ability to create custom logos and uniforms. Creating custom teams with your own created logo to bring into franchise mode would add another way for players to enjoy the mode, kind of along the lines of the previously mentioned expansion or relocation. But that just doesn't seem to be in the plans right now, as Diamond Dynasty is the only place where you can create your own uniforms, teams, and logos. Hopefully as the series moves into the next generation in the next couple years, we can start to see more options for team customization in MLB The Show. Next, you need to know about some of the new features in Diamond Dynasty this year. Now if it isn't already the most popular, Diamond Dynasty has become one of the most played modes in the history of the MLB The Show franchise. To continue the mode's growth this year, MLB The Show 19 adds a new team affinity feature that allows you to get better players for your favorite team as you use lower rated players from that team. This would allow you to earn high rated players from teams like the Reds should you use lower rated Reds players in your Diamond Dynasty roster. There's also a new signature series set of cards that take the top spot of unlockable cards for players. Finally, well not really the last new feature of the mode but definitely one of the biggest, Conquest mode is seeing some big changes. Conquest now features brand new maps and scenarios that put your strategy smarts to the test in order to lay claim to the entire map. Next on the list of what you need to know is that defensive gameplay has gotten an overhaul, and in a really good way. It's one of the biggest changes to this year's game, and it's how fielders play their various positions. Sony San Diego spent a lot of time adding new defensive animations and fine-tuning how players with different skill levels act in the field. Players will now make their first move toward the ball in order to have a better chance to make the play for an out. And rather than every player seemingly acting the same way and mistakes coming down to just chance, a player's attributes at various defensive skills will have a direct impact on whether they can cover the space to stop a hit from making it into the gap or sprint to a fly ball down the left field line. And should you play players outside of their normal positions, you'll now see a drop in ability if they aren't used to it. For instance, putting a catcher at shortstop for some reason will see that player likely make some more mistakes. Before we get to the last thing you need to know about MLB The Show 19, here are some smaller details that may swing your decision one way or the other. And the last thing you need to know about MLB The Show 19 before you make your purchase decision is that this year's game features more adaptive batting. One of the biggest complaints from players in recent years is that hitting can still be a bit too easy for high level players, even on the highest difficulties. MLB The Show 19 is hoping to solve for that by changing the general speed of pitches. If you happen to be playing on dynamic difficulty, the better you perform in the batter's box, the faster the pitches will become. On top of that, players will no longer be rewarded for just swinging at any pitches. If you swing at a bad pitch or a pitch outside the zone, you're more than likely to hit into an out rather than get lucky on a hit to the gap. Batters this year now have to focus on swinging at good pitches and taking advantage of pitchers' mistakes more than ever before. Now we want to hear from you. Will you be picking up MLB The Show 19 this season? Let us know what goes into your decision about making the annual purchase, and join the discussion at the official SGO forums at sportsgamersonline.com slash forum. And be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online, and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video goes live, so you never miss out on the latest in sports gaming.